Hi Aquarius, I hope that everybody's doing well. Before we get into this, I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. All right, Aquarius. So we have the Magician popping out immediately, also the Sun. For some of you, there's some type of creative venture that you guys have been manifesting, something you're working on, maybe also working on the ways that you're expressing yourself. I'm looking at Mercury here with the Magician, so this is about the ways that we communicate, express ourselves, where we want to be traveling for some of us and with the sun the sun is the fifth house this is about our creativity pleasures in life things that we want to be involved in things we want to be exploring getting in touch with your inner child spending time with your animals your actual children things of that um things of that nature for some of you, there could have been something that you were trying to manifest and now you're starting to see the pieces of that falling into place. I'm seeing something as well going on with um, with your confidence when it comes to what you're manifesting, what you're working on. Some type of boost of confidence here. Very interesting. So I'm looking at the devil popping out here next to the queen of wands. For some of you, I'm seeing... I'm seeing there be a, a change or something that you're doing when it comes to work. For some of you, you could have manifested yourself into a position that... You could have been feeling worried about, but now you're kind of starting to see the sun poke out a bit. Maybe you were also questioning your ability to, like, work within whatever element this is. Like, if you were working on something, um, interesting, I'm hearing supernatural. If you were working on something creatively, like a new position you wanted to step in, you may have been questioning your ability in that space, but I'm seeing something that you're working through right now. It's like not being dragged down by the things that confine you and really believing in yourself. And maybe you saw some some type of um, like confirmation or validation that you're in the right place. It was like something that you needed to see that's brightening your spirit here. Because I am seeing something... Like for some of you, there could have been a situation that happened at work that like really drag down your confidence or like maybe was affecting your emotional health your happiness something like that but i'm seeing you be okay now with whatever this was i'm seeing you work through it definitely something that you needed to um to have the courage to face and something that now you feel very good about the way that you handled it could have also been some type of obstacle that you exper experienced in your 3d like it could have been a situation I'm hearing or a somebody, somebody that was out of balance. Someone that you needed to work with, though. Like, this energy was definitely deliberately put there for you. Yeah, I'm seeing you healing something. It's like something, again, that had been out of balance or someone that came through that could have had, like, a restrictive type of energy on whatever it was that you were working on something you got upset over or were feeling anxious about, something that may have like disrupted whatever flow this was that you had. I'm seeing you healing that now. It's like whatever was out of balance before now becomes balanced. Definitely something where if you were not ready to take this on, it could have absolutely constricted you, but I'm seeing you break the chains on whatever whatever energy this was that came into your environment, it's almost like it feels karmic testy to me, like something that was here to kind of throw you off. But I'm seeing you're like really unstoppable at this point, Aquarius, with whatever it is that you're working on. 
for some of you I'm seeing that you're leaving you're leaving some type of position behind searching for the things that speak to you and continuing to go in that direction it's like having the courage to follow your heart here And also to be aware as well that there are going to be obstacles thrown in your path and that it still is worth it to be on the path that you're on. Yeah, it, it was like whatever situation this was that made you kind of question yourself. I'm seeing you confidently move through this. Like, also I'm seeing that whatever like frequency energy situation person whatever it is that you want to call it that like came into your flow space of what you were doing like something that may have stopped you a bit in your tracks i'm seeing that it could have it could have caused a sense of confusion when it came to your abilities and your confidence and what you do creatively like what you have the ability to do things like that but I'm seeing it's not of question anymore. Something that you definitely were able to work through here. This was definitely a situation that took a bit of finesse I'm seeing. And now I'm seeing like everything comes back together. Like things could have felt disjointed before and there was something you needed to work out. It was like balancing something out in the 3D and also balancing out, I'm hearing your spiritual body. I'm hearing celestial body as well. And it's like now things come back into, um, into harmony and flow with one another is what I'm hearing. You may have needed some time to yourself to reflect, to reorient yourself. Maybe also pulling back from others has been helpful to you as well. It's like maybe there was also some sort of overwhelm with those around you and you felt like you needed some time to yourself. I'm looking at Mercury. I'm looking at the Sun, which is Leo energy. I'm looking at Capricorn. I'm looking at you, Aquarius. And I'm looking at Strength, which is another Leo card. There could have been something as well going on um, that you were dealing with somebody within their ego space too. Maybe this was also something that had you doing ego work too, shadow work, things like that. As I said before, it definitely feels like some, some type of karmic test. Something that would have helped you see the big picture. And now I'm looking at the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups as well. A message that you had been hoping for being delivered we're gonna get further on this for some of you this is about starting something new So I'm looking at Taurus and I'm looking at Saturn here. There could have also been something as well affecting your money. 
because when we talk about Taurus, we talk about the second house, and this is about our security. It can be emotional security, but it can also be 3D financial security as well. Your possessions, things like that. A lesson that you're learning. So I'm looking at a new beginning that you'd wished for or something something new manifesting for you. And it's almost like the slate being wiped clean and you entering into a new space for yourself. And I'm seeing a message come through. For some of you, you're getting messages from your guides, from spirit, synchronicities that you're seeing, numbers, things like that. Definitely a sense of being very connected. And I'm seeing things that had been... There was some type of cycle, something that had been out of balance that I'm seeing come to an end now. It's like the lesson is finished now, the lesson is over. So whatever cycle it was where things felt like they were out of balance, I'm seeing that be completed now. I'm hearing... I'm hearing waiting on a final answer. You could have been waiting on a final answer for something. Interesting. I'm seeing someone that has um that has Saturn in their second house. I'm, I'm seeing a really interesting notion here. It's like, it's almost like something that you had been hoping for or waiting for. It's like just prior to this thing actually um, materializing for you, it's almost like you can see whatever this is that's coming. And it's something that you want. And you know also that in order to grab onto this, there is something as well that needs to be let go of and you get a clear picture a clearer and clearer picture of what this is the more you're looking within and the more you're disconnecting for some of you i'm seeing that there are particular relationships or like people or energetic ties that you have that you're letting go of or that you're at least pulling back from and maybe while you've had that time to pull back you recognize what needs to be let go of for some of you this can be someone that you've been watching and or holding on to and i'm seeing um I'm seeing spirit coming through and bringing you messages. It's almost like helping you find where you need to be going on your path. And I'm kind of getting like these directions that are being given to you. And it's like the more that you're following your guidance and the messages that spirit's giving to you, it's almost like this trail of like messages or synchronicities or like directions that you're getting. It's like the more that you're following this, the more you're elevating yourself. I'm seeing the more that you're actually, I'm hearing defining and establishing your sense of security. And it's like whatever new beginning this is that you're stepping into that again i'm like seeing you like see this thing coming prior to it materializing for you um whatever that is i'm seeing you step into this new beginning with a definite sense of self a definite sense of security maybe there's also some type of new mantra space that you've been developing as well for some of you i'm getting strongly something about like affirmations as you're going to sleep maybe you're also learning too that the more composed you are the more secure you are feeling the more safe you're feeling especially when it comes to your physical reality too
Because it's always a balance that we do. It's not just being able to reach these places spiritually. It's also being able to balance things out in your physical reality as well. That is important because we are physical bodies too. Definitely spiritual, but definitely physical as well. And if something is... If, if you feel like you're meeting obstacles in your physical reality, there is shock, chakra work that needs to be done. Those are your lower chakras that need to be addressed and you could be experiencing blockages. Like if you're experiencing things when it comes to your physical security, money, environmental situations, things like that, that's all about the lower chakras. And normally until we address those things, it makes it more difficult for us to ascend. Like, because if your lower chakras are blocked, it means like the energy can't go up to the higher chakras either. But I'm seeing you continuing to move here. It's like knowing that you're going through transitions right now, knowing that it takes time and space to adjust. And also address the heart chakra too. For some of you, there are things that you're forgiving yourself for. I'm seeing like big heart chakra work that's being done. This is like going over things that you may have felt like you um, regretted. Forgiving yourself, forgiving those around you as well. I'm getting a lot about self-love here, too. It's like taking control of your heart space, knowing that it's your responsibility to protect yourself, protect your energy. I'm seeing it be like the more you're moving into a space where you feel like you have a larger capacity to hold space to hold empathy for yourself for those around you the more you recognize too that there are things that need to be done when it comes to protecting the heart space because when we just have empathy and we're not practicing boundaries you're setting yourself up to be taken advantage of or allow your boundaries to be crossed and i'm seeing this be something that we're working on i'm pretty sure i've mentioned this before but it reminds me of um of a really small, it's like a five minute talk by Brene Brown and in it she says that we can be our most compassionate selves when we are setting boundaries. And it's very, very true. It's like thinking the best of others and knowing that in order to be truly in touch with your gifts and your abilities, your intuition in a grounded way, you also have to take responsibility for your heart space, what's going on there. Also take responsibility for your healing as well. Interesting. I'm looking at the Two of Cups, and after the Two of Cups fell, the moon. I'm also looking at counterpart energy here because I am seeing the Queen of Cups. I'm looking at the King of Cups. I'm seeing the moon. I'm seeing the Two of Cups. There may be someone that you're linking up with. I am looking at a lot of court cards here. For some of you, this is a transition that you're making all on your own where you're starting to embody different energies where you're like stepping into a more masculine energy when it comes to getting things done, when it comes to your self-work that you're doing. But for others of you, I'm seeing that there's um, someone whose identity has not yet been revealed. And it's like as soon as you finish clearing out 
whatever that was. I'm seeing someone actually come through. It has to do... It may not be something romantic. This may be somebody that you're working with. It it can also be romantic as well, but I'm seeing like in the very center of this spread, this having to do with something new. For some of you, this is a new project that you'd be working on and you may be like meeting someone along the way that you're going to be working with. Something creative, but something again that you don't know about yet. You may find that you get along very well, very well with this person, but they may come across different, like when you first meet them, um, like you may not see the depth of, like they may not be somebody that comes off in a way where you perceive them to be like super emotional or at least not step to you in that way. I'm hearing, but it's behind there. This would be somebody very passionate and somebody that definitely, maybe some prominent um, fire and water placements that they have, but I'm getting that, maybe this is a specific message. Whoever this person is, you would notice the fire placements first, so maybe something with their ascendant. Um, I said water and fire. I'm looking at Sagittarius here and I'm looking at Pisces. I'm also hearing Neptune, which does rule Pisces. Over the moon just fell the high priestess. As I said before, I'm not getting that you know the identity of this person, at least not yet. It's almost like each step that you're making as you're moving forward, I'm, I'm seeing there be some type of justice that is in the mix of this, like some type of evening out, balancing out. You may even start noticing things. I'm hearing karmic schemes. That's interesting. Like maybe being able to zoom out and perceive things that you weren't seeing before. For some of you, for whatever current, um, whatever current cycle that you're in right now, I'm seeing that you're making some type of plan to bring justice to a situation, and I think that you're a situation, a relationship, something like that. I'm seeing you recognize that in order to bring justice to this situation, it's time to move on from it, because intuitively, it's like intuitively you know it's not the right fit for you, because it's not, it's not building in the way that you want it to build. Or it's not going to be long-lasting for you. Something... This can be even a person that you're involved with that you know it's time to walk away from. And this can be anyone. It can be a family member. It can be a friend. It doesn't have to be a significant relationship, although it can be. It can be a cycle. It can be a place where you go where there's something going on with, like, the frequency... Interesting. I'm looking at Libra and the moon. And falling over the moon, I'm seeing something from the past here. For some of you, I'm seeing that there's a return coming through that you don't know about yet. 
because these three cards all fell over the moon and it's somebody from your past, something that karmically is timing out now and something that you're being guided, you're being guided not to take the offer from this person. You see this? Someone's going to come through and make an offer to you. This is so specific. Somebody's going to come through and make an offer to you. You're being guided not to take it. You have a history with this person. In the past, this was their energy. This was someone who, um, if you had a commitment with them, they were not faithful. Um, this would be somebody impulsive as well. Intuitively, you also know this. You may also know more than they believe that you know too, I'm getting. But I'm seeing them I'm seeing them come through and be confident about the way that they're coming through. But I think it's because they don't know what you know or that you know what you know about them. Something like that here. As I said before, this is hidden. I'm not seeing this having happened before. But this is for sure somebody that's let you down in the past. But you know that it's justice to move away from them. And karmically, this is also what you're being guided to do. Because they're just going to bring further chaos into your life. And I'm seeing that, like, since, I'm seeing you being different. It's like, since the last time you interacted with this person, I'm seeing you go through some type of ascension. Like, there's definitely growth and progress that you've made. But I'm seeing, like, this person could have even been in a narcissistic energy when you were dealing with them. I'm seeing something going on with Pluto in their chart. Definitely something that they have not yet learned to ground. Definitely an energy that you want to be mindful to not allow to affect the things that you've been building. It's like you're going to be successful here if you set boundaries with this person. If you already have set boundaries with this person, reinforce them. You'll know what this is when it's happening, if this feels a little bit, like, out there. As I said before, I'm not seeing this as something you know about yet. I'm hearing Egypt so strongly. I'm looking at Pisces. I'm looking at Jupiter. I'm looking at the moon. I'm looking at Libra. I'm looking at Sagittarius. Yeah, that definitely feels like some type of warning from your guides about this person. Um, This is not someone new. This is someone you've already dealt with. I saw 2727 on the time when I looked up. So just just be mindful. You'll, you'll know exactly what this is when it happens is what I'm getting here. And this is like a time for you to showcase how you set boundaries. And as I said before, you've definitely changed since the last time that you interacted with this person. And maybe that's also why they're coming through in the way they are. Like, they don't realize who you are at this point, essentially. Like, the ways that you've grown, who you've become. Because I'm seeing you in this scenario as the High Priestess. And the High Priestess knows what's going on and is not going to allow someone to take advantage. But the High Priestess is also somebody that is very parsimonious when it comes to the things that she shares and so it's only like saying what's needed and not needing to like prove yourself because it's already validation enough because you know what's going on and what you need to do and you don't need to explain yourself to anybody so my lovely friends we are going to end it here i would like to thank everybody for joining thank you for tuning in i'm wishing everybody love and light and healing and i hope to catch you guys next time